everybody, and welcome back to Paper Mario. My name is John Franco, and in the last episode, we started our little hike over on Mount Rugged, but we couldn't progress further because we... Well, we couldn't, but uh, now we have a new party member with Parry Carry, and thanks to him, we are, are now uh, uh, able to continue our hike so um, between recordings I managed to go back to Toad Town and bought the D down pound so let you let you do a D down pound use 2 FP disables an enemy defense power and injures it so this is really good against the cleft and the speedy spin increase the distance Mario Mario can spin dash, so it's way faster. So it's good to. It's a good match. So, with that out of the way, let's continue onwards. And let's go this way. Yes. And let's. Grab that badge, now that we can, thanks to Parry Carry. If I'm not mistaken, this is... The ground... The Quake Hammer badge. Damage all enemies on the ground or ceiling. So we haven't seen enemies on ceiling yet, but... Pretty soon, we are going to see them, so... Quick hammer takes one. I think I'm going to. Uh, I'm not going to equip the shrink stump yet because I want to show it up. Uh, I can get rid of the refund badge for now. Quick hammer. All right, so let's let's show off the quake hammer. So, not the quake hammer, the the D the D down pound or defense down. So it just uh, disabled the enemy's defense, like he was saying in the explanation. So nothing too crazy. And next. Let's show the Quake Hammer because I don't know if it will work or if it's. Yeah! The ground. Uh, the. Quake also nullifies the, the defense powers of the enemy, so. That's great. And pretty soon we are going to be. I'm going to show off what Perry Carry can do. So here we have. This little guy. Huh? You're talking to me? I don't see anyone else here. Alright, you are talking to me. It's been a long while since I first came here from my home in flower fields. But you're still the very first person to speak a word of uh, to me. Nobody ever noticed me. The few people I actually see just think I'm blooming. I love a good conversation here. Take this as a thank uh, as thanks. This is a precious seed. Keep it well and remember remember me. We got the magical seed, a seed have it planted in the flower garden in Toad Town. Please grow my seed with care, it will help you one day. Oh yes. Okay, so let's go back on the mountain. Um, I'm going to... no I can't switch to Gumbaro yet. Because we need to carry for this thing. So let's grab Gumbara because there's a little boss fight incoming. And we have this this bird watching at my steps. Hey there! Hold up a sec, partner. Just a third minute! I've seen you somewhere.
Yeah, very similar. You look a lot like this filler Mario who's on Bowser's Wanted poster. Now, Kiv, what's your name? If you say Mario, you will fight him. If you say Luigi, he will just let you pass through. If you say Princess Peach, though... What's that? Princess Peach? You take me for a fool? Princess Peach is captured out there in Bowser's castle. You reckon I don't know that? You're asking for it, your big fiber. I'm taking your Mario. Prepare for your weapon. Let's start with the Shrink Stomp. Enemies being shrunk, its attack power, its attack power is half the normal. This is Buzzard. He guards Mount Rugged. Wow, that's one big bird. <laughs> yeah. Max HP is 40, attack power is 3. If you get caught in the clutches uh, of its sharp claws, you lose 4 HP. Try to wriggle out of his grip. His special attack is flapping his wings to create wind. His attack damage your partner, party members too. But he was hatching eggs, wasn't he? Is it possible that he's really a she? I wonder. So, he deals 1 damage now because he has been shrunk down. Let's switch to Perry Carry. Show off his moves. We need to tap A to escape. Um, let's see Perry Carry. Sky Dive. Kick an enemy. And that's pretty much it. Let's shrink him again. And it didn't work. Oh well. Um, let's... Let's use a honey syrup. Next is the shell shot. Pre uh, press the joystick to the left and release it when aiming at the cursor. So just like Yoshi's Island, you aim and it deals 5 damage, which is a very strong attack. And I think it can also go through through um, can nullify defense. I'm not sure about that. Uh, do it. So you're injured. You can't move. So parry, carry. Is out for one turn. Let's use uh, the power jump. Let's escape. And let's see. I have two honey syrups and a, a cup of tea, so. Doesn't matter. Five damage, nice. And let's power jump. He really wants to attack me with his little claw thing. Next turn should be it. And I f failed miserably. Alright. Very carry. Kick him in the face. Eighty-four uh, experience points. Yo, I got the whoop. Great, Mario killed a bird. So now we can continue. And I think, uh, yeah, 
this is the way to the desert, so there's a save block. In case, I'm not going to save in case stuff goes crazy. I could use a restart. No, I hate using save states. Uh, welcome to the dry, dry desert. And here we have Colorado. Well, hello there, old boy. How goes the travels, eh? I know I'm known as Colorado. I am an archaeologist. You know, I travel the world. At the moment, I'm turning dry, dry desert upside down to find the dry, dry ruins. My assistants have attempted to gather information in dry, dry outpost, which is near here. Sadly, as far of, as of yet, we're having little success. All I need is a clue and we'll be golden. You're Colorado, correct? The ain't Mercury. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Really? Oh, good show. It's a letter from my wife. Thank you, ever so, old chap. This is just what I needed to give me the strength to go on. I know. I'll pass this al uh, along as a spot of tanks. I came across it while I was immersed in the dig around here. A star piece! We're assisting Professor Colorado. Right now we're waiting on the guy who hiked over Georgia Outpost to try to bring back some information. Did you know people of Georgia Outpost are descendants of the makers of Georgia Ruins? What a cool thought, huh? People have been living there watching over the ruins for many generations. Colorado. Thank you. To get to the desert town, Georgia Outpost, just go due east on this path. I'd be careful not to stray from the path if you were if I were you. You may find some trouble and you'll definitely get lost. Even the path isn't that safe, so watch out for enemies. Oh yeah. Um can I hit this tree? So there's a pathway, so let's follow it. And we have bandits. When was the last time that we saw bandits in, bandits in a Mario game? Oh, there's a lot of them. Uh, easy. Yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's waste a turn because we need to tattle. Of course. This is a bandit. Bandit bump into your heart and sh into your, into you hard and shake up your pockets. They can steal up to ten coins. Max HP is five. Attack power is two. They'll slightly approach, then slam into you all of a sudden. If you can damage them in an attack, you can get your stolen coins back. Let's beat them before they make they can make off with our loot. Uh, let's quake hammer. Quake hammer again. And change to Cooper. Oh great. Quake hammer. Nice! Only four star points before we get a new level up. So let's continue on the pathway. What the Cooper, your movement were slow. Uh Combario. And we have Pokies. Combario, please do the honors. This is a Pokey and Evil Cactus. Pokies are cact what? Pokies attack by throwing parts of their bodies or by coming up close and falling on you. Max HP is 4, attack power is 2. Be careful finding them, it hurts to, if you jump on their spiky head. They also have an annoying habit of calling reinforcement. Let's beat them quick. So, jumping won't do anything, so let's... Uh, attack with the hammer. Okay. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, it's quick hammer. One down. Mario. Goodbye. Oh, and he is calling reinforcement. Or just calling him back from the dead. Quick hammer. And Cooper, you can finish him off. Hey, we have a new level up! In which I think I'm going to level up my HP. And let's continue on the pathway. And there's a weird cactus. This is a twister. If you jump into it, uh, you will be sent off in a random place across the desert. So if you don't want to get lost, don't go there. So let's continue on the pathway. And here we have a mouse. Hello fellow traveler. I'm in the middle of a journey just as, as you appear to be. Other travelers I meet are like brothers and sisters to me. If a town... Is, is what you seek? Follow this path to the east. A desert town called Dreja Outpost waits a uh, path's end. Uh, I think we have a letter from him? No, we don't have one yet. We have some... Palm trees? Are these palm trees? Can, the, can these be considered as palm trees? I'm just an ignorant fool, so... Uh, do we have more coins? Or stuff? Okay. I think it's this way... Oh, crap. Yes, this way. Uh, this is something that you can do. This is something that you can technically, technically do later, but since we are already here, let's we can do it. So here we have a lemon. And uh, right over here, this is a super block. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. The memory you upgrade will gain attack power. The party member will also master a new ability. Which party member do you want to upgrade? Normally, I always go in order. So, Kumbario, and when I found another power uh, upgrade block, I'll go to Cooper and then Bombhead, and so on. So, let's see what they can learn. So, he'll master charge, his attack power will go up. So charge is just like the charge hammer and all that. He will also deal two damage instead of one, if I'm not mistaken. He'll master the dizzy shell, dizzy shell to paralyze enemies. She'll master power bomb and attack on all ground enemies. He'll master airlift to carry an enemy from the battle. I'm going to power up Bombette because she's going. Uh, her new attack is going to be. Very useful for later, so let's do that. So she is now in super rank. So here we are, we have this nice little oasis place a lime, and a lemon, water. It's an RPG, so you can swim. That's a shame. Let's go back up. And if we read the signpost, welcome to try draw outpost. So this is Red Draw Outpost, the town of the desert. Next time we're going to explore the town and see what is going on over there and see if we can find information about the ruins. See you guys next time. Goodbye.